Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Arielle. I create beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, and lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. So today is going to be another haul. NARS has come out with some new powders. Now these powders are supposed to have some sort of blurring effect and last for 24 hours. So while I was at Sephora, I picked up some goodies. So let me show y'all what I got. So we'll start off with the NARS powders. So this is the new NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powders. These came out like I want to say two days ago and I got two colors. I got one color that I wanted to sort of use to set all over and then one color to set the under eye. So the first color that I got is called Offshore. So here's Offshore. The next color that I got is called Sunshore. And this one's Sunshore. So we got Offshore and Sunshore. So this one to set under the eye and this one to sort of set all over. And just so you guys can see, because I just recorded a uh, YouTube short for these powders. So this one I currently have under this eye. And this one I currently have under that this eye. So you guys can kind of see the difference. But I do have a full review coming up pretty soon within the next couple days using these powders. Now the next thing I picked up is a Huda Beauty foundation. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Skin Finish Foundation and it's in a stick form. This is it here. So I currently use Huda Beauty's Faux Filter Concealer which is my favorite concealer at the moment. Absolutely love it and I'm like okay they have a Faux Filter foundation. So I picked this up in the color 440G Cinnamon. So this is what it looks like sort of reminds me of that hourglass stick foundation it is shaped exactly like this so 440 cinnamon the next item i got is from charlotte tilbury and it is it's her kissing one of her kissing lipsticks it's a line of lipsticks called kissing and i got it in the color so red now this is a different red than i usually get typically with reds i like them to be ultra matte this is a shiny it has a sheen to it so it's almost like a glossy red it's called so red let's swatch it here i cannot wait to wear this i had uh seen it in the store and was like oh gosh <laughs> i had to have it and i love charlotte tilbury's packaging You're like so classy right so the next item that i got is a blush so this is from Char charlotte tilbury as well this is the pillow talk cheek to chic it's the Swish and Glow Blush in the color Intense. Swish and Glow Intense. So I'm assuming they have a regular and an intense. And this is it here. So it's like a mauve color with a lighter peachy pink in the middle. So you can either swirl both, like into both colors, or you can do the colors separately. So let's swirl both and see what it's given. So, ooh, that's pretty. So it has a sheen to it as well, like a little iridescence to it. It's not matte, it has like sheen to it, very pretty. The next item that I got is a concealer and it is from Hourglass. It's the Hourglass Vanish Concealer and I picked it up in the color Maple. Now I have been eyeing this concealer for a long time, but I have been waiting to get it because for some reason I kept getting other concealers to try out. So today I was like, I haven't gotten a new concealer in a couple weeks, so let's try it out. Today is the day. So this is what it looks like. Y'all know Hourglass is like, their packaging is always bomb. So let's swatch it here. So that's the color. I feel like it's perfect for highlighting. When, when I want like that natural highlight that's not too bright, or I can layer it. Typically, I'll do one that's about this color and then a lighter one just in the inner corners. So the next item that I got is a lip cheat. And this is from Charlotte Tilbury. And it is in the color Foxy Brown. So this is a lip liner. It reminds me of Cork Lip Liner from MAC, which is one of my favorites. See that brown? So let's swatch it here. So that's what it looks like. 
And the last item that I got is actually something you guys have seen before and this is the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. So I used this in my last couple videos but I did get the color number five which I liked. I ended up really liking it. Um, but I just kind of wanted to go with something a little lighter. So I exchanged it for the color number four. So it has like a little purple and like yellow shade. And then on the other side, you see blue and uh, peach. So obviously, you know, when you pour it out, all four colors get mixed in together. So I'm excited to see how this one looks as compared to the color number five that I had been using last week. So that's it from Sephora. I did place an order with Mugler. So Alien by Mugler is one of my favorite, one of my all time favorite perfumes. I absolutely love Alien. And Alien has a flanker called Alien Goddess, which is a much softer, almost ethereal smelling fragrance and I smelled it around the time of the VIB sale but I didn't get it I decided to go with a Killian fragrance instead and I ended up getting a coupon code for 20% off and they had a gift set where basically I was going to get a 10 ml for free plus 20% off so I was like yeah sign me up <laughs> ordered right away so this is the package here and it comes with the one ounce and then the travel size with it y'all smells so nice It's clean, dainty, and floral. I love it. It's sweet. Those are typically the fragrances I go towards is the ultra feminine, soft, sweet scents. And this is definitely one of them. So Mugler did send a couple of samples uh, with the perfume. And I wanted to kind of let you guys know. So if you guys were interested in getting Goddess, beautiful, soft scent. But they also have a Goddess Intense, and this is Goddess Intense. You know how sometimes when they make flankers, the flanker smells nothing like, it may have like a small hint of the scent of the original one, but it just kind of takes its own little pathway to something else. Well, Goddess Intense smells exactly like Goddess. It's the same exact thing except stronger. So it projects more, it's louder, and... It's just like a beefed up version of Goddess. So Goddess Intense, if you think that Goddess is a little too soft for you and you want something that projects more but you love the scent, just get the Intense. It's the same thing except much bolder. And then they also sent Angel Nova. So Angel Nova, it has that alien DNA in there where you know it's alien by Mugler. Um, but this takes a bit of a more fun tone. Um, it is pink. So the full bottle has, is like a pink bottle. So that pink for me just kind of represents girly and fun. And that's what this gives. This gives alien, but it's, it's a more... A little bit more bright upbeat sweeter and fun so this one is angel nova and i actually really like this one too i do okay so the last thing i wanted to show you guys is coach dreams sunset hand cream so you guys if you've seen any of my past videos where i have raved about coach dream sunset it is such a beautiful scent I used up that scent in some months. <laughs> Definitely in probably about six months or so, I used it up. I probably have enough left for maybe one or two more wears. Such a beautiful, feminine, floral, sweet, fun scent. It's one of those crowd-pleasing scents that I, don't, I think everybody would probably like, if you get what I mean. And so they had a hand cream to that that I picked up. And this is the hand cream, you guys. The hand cream smells exactly like the actual fragrance, exactly like it. And it's actually a really good hand cream, super moisturizing, and just leaves your hands with a beautiful sheen and very soft and supple. So that is it for this haul, you guys. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. Thumbs up this video if you found any value today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are.
to skip to show me love Cause to fresh with the scars What I don't have the answers 